Well, actually, the, the project we first worked on was involved painting. Marty and I kind of got thrown together on the project, not really knowing each other. And I had this feeling that she thought, well, here's some blowhard man I'm forced to work with. Well, we started working and I mixed up some paints and started painting and about five minutes into the project, she said, so where'd you get your training? <laughs> I met Jay in, when I was living in New Jersey, we were working on an art-related project and found that we worked well together. Uh, we came, became friends, um, shared an interest in art and started dating maybe a couple years after that. We've been married now over 21 years and going strong. Mostly what I first got involved in was graphic arts and from there, uh, photography and digital. I started out as a painter uh, later in my life in my 50s um, and then gravitated pretty quickly within maybe three, two or three years to making art quilts. I was living in Pittsburgh at the time and there was good training there and good examples of a group called the Fiber Arts Guild, um, a triennial international show which influenced me a lot. Um, the Fiber, uh, Fiber Art International. And I began to learn how to um, put images on cloth, how to work with them. Um, there's many, many different methods for doing that. Um, I have gravitated to raw edge applique, it's called a very immediate and direct method of making the images. A lot of the photographs I produce are composites where I'll take two or three photos and combine them. Often we don't talk to each other at all while we're in the studio. Marty likes to listen to stories on her Bluetooth and I can't listen to much of anything while I'm working. I tend to need a lot of concentration on the computer and things like that. It's not unheard of for us to raise our hands to be <laughs> recognized so we can speak. Uh -huh. That's true. We try not to disturb each other while we're, while we're actually working in the studio. We do schedule times to talk. Uh, we take a walk in the morning or have a glass of wine together in the evening. Um, and we share so many other interests that we do find that we um, spend, you know, other, other time together. And I, I'm very passionate about sort of spreading the gospel of art quilts. Well, I would like people to spend a little time with my artwork. It, most of my artwork's fairly complicated. Um, you can't just spend eight seconds looking at it and have any appreciation for what, it, what it's about. Um, actually, most artwork, truthfully, you can't spend eight seconds and <laughs> understand what it's about. But there's a lot of depth. I would like people to pay attention to the titles of my work because I spend a lot of time thinking about the titles. To each artist, it's up to that person to, to see their world and, and document it as they, as they will. For each person, it is so different. What, what is important to them or what they see. If, if we're standing here and what I even see right now is different from what you see. Um, if you give each of us a camera, what we would pick on to the shapes or shadows that we would choose to take a photo of would be completely different for each of us. Um, so it's that documentation, that expression, that that is individual to each person and I think everyone has the ability to to create something or to document something or see something in their own way and it has value. <laughs>